Okay. Okay, so our experiment was on who is more observant. Um, so we had five colors printed on standard paper, and the word of the color was different than the ink used to print it out. And we had 20 people from each gender, so like 20 males, 20 females. And we didn't give them a time limit on how long they could like read the word or respond to our question. So our hypothesis was would females get more words correct than males because they're said to be more observant and pay attention to detail better. So our colors were, the word blue was written in red ink, red was written in green ink, purple was written in yellow ink, green was written in orange ink, and orange was written in purple ink. So during the experiment, more words were correct as the experiment went on, so like the fourth and fifth word were tended to, tend to be more accurate than like the first and second word which people were getting wrong. Um, females took longer to answer, and like we think this because they like understood they didn't have a time limit, and they would like read the word, comprehend what we asked them, and then respond with the correct answer. And our hypothesis was proven correct because females did better. So the results: there were 17 females that got five out of five correct, and three that got four out of five, and then we had 10 males get five out of five correct. Six that got four out of five, and four that got three out of five. Just presents. And so, like, to improve our experiment and get better data, we could time the participants and give them a time limit on how long they had to like look at the word, how long they have to answer. We could use more words and like more colors and give them like a longer experiment rather than just five words. And we could use more participants, like a different age group, like use younger kids and older kids, use like not people in college, because like we only used college students on campus. So the whole like t experiment was based on like the Stroop test, which was uh, designed by John Ridley Stroop in 1935. And like, the test was designed to explain the cognitive process of the brain and how it functioned. And he said that we're like more skilled at reading words than identifying the colors they're printed in. So his two theories that explain the way the brain worked was like the speed of processing. So is that like we can read words quickly and selective attention, which naming the color that like the word is printed in requires more attention than reading the actual word. So there was like a recent study on how easily distracted people were. And it was on the phone or computer. And they gave you a word, it was either white or orange, and it was either printed in white or orange, like ink. And if the color of the word printed was white, you hit the W key. And if it was colored orange, you would hit the O key. So the results, the mismatched pair, so if you had like the word white written in orange ink, they took longer to answer. And the faster you answer, the less distracted you're said to be. And the distraction was like the irrelevant information, which was the word. And, like the participants were told not to pay attention to those words, just like pay attention to the color. But people still read the word because that's what we're trained to do.